Praise be Jesus Christ. We're living in a time as Catholics of significant church corruption. There's just a lot of corruption in the church right now. Everyone knows it. If someone doesn't see it, they're either blind or part of the corruption in the church. Now, we have to remain positive. One of the things I keep reminding myself is in Ecclesiastes chapter 3, it says there's an appointed time for everything, a time for war and a time for peace. And as, as faithful Catholics, we just need to accept the fact that this is a time of war. And what we need to do is we need to join the Maccabees, okay? Rather than feeling sorry for ourselves or getting down or whatever, join the Maccabees. It's kind of exciting right now to join the Maccabees. There's a whole bunch of Catholics who, who are not willing to compromise the teachings of the Lord Jesus Christ, who want to be faithful to the gospel, even though so much of Catholicism is caving to the spirit of the age. And we know that the Maccabees were living in a time like this. People were abandoning, Jewish people were abandoning the law of the Lord and the Maccabees are like, no way. We would rather than die, we would rather die than, than um, deny God and, and reject God's law. And there's a beautiful passage from uh, 1 Maccabees 3. Judas Maccabeus says, in the sight of heaven, there is no difference between deliverance by many or by few. You see, again, we, the, the Catholic Maccabees of today, who want to fight for uh, the salvation of souls and the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, we're few. There's only a few of us. Most Catholics are like the frogs in the uh, hot water. The water's about to boil or it's boiling. They're dying. They don't even realize it. So there's only a few people who recognize that we're rejecting the gospel. So we're the few, just like the Maccabees. He says, in the sight of heaven, there's no difference between deliverance by many or by few. For victory in war does not depend upon the size of the army, but on strength that comes from heaven. And he goes on, he says, we are fighting for our lives and for our laws. And we too, as the Catholic Maccabees, we're fighting for the salvation of souls, for the soul of the church, for, the, for the, the teaching, the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ that the Lord commanded us to be faithful to, to not be ashamed of. And so, yes, we're not ashamed of Jesus. We're not ashamed of his words. We're not ashamed of his gospel. We fight with love. We don't harm people. We lay our lives down for people, and it's exciting. It's exciting to be part of this little remnant of Maccabees today who are fighting the good fight. And we know that God wins. The devil doesn't win. People might think, oh, I'm going to be on the devil's team because it's the stronger team and it seems to be winning right now. In the end, our lady's heart, the Immaculate Heart, will triumph. So keep praying your rosary. Keep fighting the good fight. Viva Cristore.